So what's next for Granblue Fantasy Relink? We know a lot of you have been following Granblue Relink for eight years now, but recently after the release of the game, we've seen an influx of people saying it was a surprise game for them. With that in mind, we thought it would be good to recap what's coming next for Relink in terms of content updates, new characters and fights, so you know what to prepare for as you go through the base game. While the developers have stated that Relink won't be a live service game, they have announced a number of updates releasing post-launch that will include new characters and boss fights. However, something that we want to ask you guys is what collaboration would you like to see with Relink? If you look at the mobile Granblue Fantasy game and Granblue Fantasy Versus, they both had some bangers, so tell us yours down below. For example, the mobile game had collaborations with My Hero, Demon Slayer and even One Piece, while the fighting game Granblue Fantasy vs Rising recently had a collaboration with Nier Automata. So the potential for collabs in Relink is sky high and hopefully is something that Psy Games are thinking about as some of the content coming in the future updates hasn't been revealed yet. But before we get excited for collaborations, let's go through some of the content that we actually know we are getting. In early March, we will be getting the first content updates for Relink, and we know that this update will be the boss fight against Lucilius, who is one of the main antagonists of the Granblue universe. During the live stream that Lucilius was revealed in, the developers said that this will be a hard fight, and we know they are adding it as an optional super boss fight, which is great for those of you looking for a little more difficulty. The wiki has a summary of this character's lore, and this is an astral that was the head researcher of a research lab. His unequivocal genius and transcendence led to many breakthroughs that shook up the world, notably the birth of the original primal beasts. But as his research into evolution progressed, he drew his own conclusions about the gods' designs and established the fallen angels to bring about his grand finale, a plan intended for him to destroy the world. Now this content will be free and the website does seem to list paid content drops coming at the same time as the free content. It'll be interesting to see what this is going to be, but if we were to hazard a guess, it could be that this paid content might be cosmetic things like skins and dyes for our characters, as the customization is a little bare bones at the moment with only a few characters actually having ways to alter their appearance like Siegfried. These alternate appearances are a big part of the mobile game having different versions of a ton of characters. After the March update though, in April we move on to getting two new characters, Safon and Taeyin. At least I think that's how you say them. You'll be able to unlock them just by playing, but you will have the option to skip that as the website says the new characters are unlocked at no additional cost by fulfilling certain in-game requirements. However, they can be unlocked automatically via purchase. In addition to the new characters, the website does say they will be dropping more alongside them, which we are guessing is more endgame content so that we have something to do with these brand new characters. Both of these characters are Eternals and look very cool. Here's their character descriptions. They who astride the skies and across the path of any would-be calamity. Safon seems rather carefree as the leader of the Eternals, but he's actually a proud and driven man. The fearsome powers he commands could shake the very heavens, but he wields them only to right the world's wrongs. He's also frighteningly fond of swords. So it seems like Safon is very into his swords, but he doesn't actually wield them with his hands, instead he summons them at range, so it'll be really interesting to see how this translates into Relink's gameplay. But we think this character's probably going to be quite popular. And then on the other side we have Tien, and we know a lot of people were disappointed that there weren't any archer characters in the game, but with the release of this character it's your time to shine. A character bio says this naturally talented huntress's skills with the bow are peerless. Her eagle eyes can track prey far beyond the horizon. She destroys those that wrong her in a hail of shining arrows. So this is definitely a character that we're interested in trying out and hopefully Psy Games continues to add characters with different playstyles to the current roster. And then lastly is the May update and Psy Games haven't revealed any information about what exactly will be in it, we just know that the update will be coming. It would be nice however if this is a new raid. After the May update, it's then all up in the air. As we previously said, we know that Psy Games aren't treating this as a live service, but recently in an interview with Kayan, they mentioned that they are planning to add several quests. But here you can listen to them say it for yourself. Attendre un soutien et un contenu régulier pour à la fois Relic et à la fois Versus Rising. Et tout Relic va être son contenu qui a beaucoup de volume. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de volume. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de volume. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de volume. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de volume. Je pense que c'est un peu plus de volume. 
発表したんですけど、まあ、ライジングにも出たルシファー、ルシリウスと戦えるクエストとかがまあ最初のやつですね。3月に配信です。So, some people are taking this as confirmation that content will continue beyond May, which is a good thing if true. But we will point out that he could just be referring to the three updates currently on the roadmap, which include quests as well. Personally, we think there are more updates planned as Psy Games have a good track record for supporting Versus, and they probably are just exercising caution to see if the game is a success before committing to making more content. It would be weird for them to have committed to a game that was a flop after already investing eight years of resources into it, and well, with the game breaking records on Steam, we think it is highly likely there will be more content. But tell us what you think down below. Would you play new boss fights if they added them in, or even new characters later down the line? And subscribe for more Grand Blue Fantasy Relink content.